everybody welcome to my channel if you've never been here before a special welcome to you today i'm coming to you with an elf haul if you could not tell from the thumbnail i did pick up some products um i got a lot a lot of freebies um just so you guys know and let's get into it um i did put in two orders for a reason and i'll show you guys why in a few minutes um, I purchased something from Morphe, which I'm not huge on Morphe, but when I saw this collab, like, I went crazy. I love Lucky Charms. <laughs> I'm like a little kid when it comes to cereal, and, like, I had to get this. It is just so freaking adorable. I hate that the packaging is like this. Like, they show you all the colors like that, and they act like it's full and then you open it and it looks like that now i will pull these out and swatch them for you real quick these are severely severely smooth and they are quite quite beautiful which i was wondering what they were going to look like being morphe nothing that not that there's like truly anything wrong with morphe i just don't normally agree with their formulas and I thought hey I'll buy it if it's terrible I'll return it and I am happily surprised these are pencil shadows um so you do have to sharpen them they are seriously soft and seriously pigmented Three of them are metallic and three of them are regular shadows, not shadows, eyeliners. Sorry about that. Um, I do like that three of them are metallic other than the fact that one of them is gold, but it comes up as like a, this one that should be yellow comes up as like a bronzy tone. And I ordered a gold eyeliner, so, um, they look like this if you look the gold the purple and the blue are metallic the green the red and the orange are just regular while we're at um eye pencils i did order a cream gel liner from colourpop i actually ordered two the first one comes in coastal crush which hopefully this doesn't know that is beautiful. I love that blue. I find the blue to be a lot different than the other blue, which I'm happy about. Um, let me just throw that in there. This is what I was talking about. I did order this cream gel liner, which is gold. Now I didn't swatch these like next to each other, but I do know that this is a gold. They're totally different though. One's like a bronze and the other one's like a bright gold. This is in the color Sub-Zero, which is a weird color for, or a weird name for a bright gold, but that's okay. Um, okay, while we're on ColourPop, I did order some Super Shock Shadows. So let's try to get these out of the package with these big old nails on. Okay. This first one I'm going to show you guys is the Color Empire. Quite, quite beautiful. It is a really, really pretty green. Um, which, I don't know what was up with me in green the other day. But, well, green and purple. <laughs> um, you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. This one is not the one I want to open right now. This one is. So I got to get it open, which is not the easiest thing to do all the time with nails, but I'm going to keep it. So I'll just rip the package. <laughs> okay. This one, which is in the color mint for you a 
looks like that on your finger and that swatch. Very, very, very pretty. Um, I love Super Shock Shadows. I just hate when they dry out. I have some materials that like reconstitute certain things and I haven't tried that with Super Shock Shadows yet, but I am going to try and see if it works. Um, I have like a Duraline type product that I'm going to try. This one is called a cell. It looks like this. It's just a bright white. It looks like that on my finger. And then on my arm, it is right here. So very, very pretty. This will be a nice, nice, nice topper shade for almost any look. Um, let me grab my wipe to get some of this a little bit under control so that um, I know that I'm going to have some staining and glitter everywhere, but at least I won't be getting stuff everywhere. Okay, the next product I have is from Truly. This is called Moon Rocks. If you are a Truly lover, my eyes are watering so bad today. Sorry about that. I talked about it in my earlier video. My eyes are watering very, very bad today. Um, if you're a Truly fan and you're used to their fruity scents and stuff like that, their Moon Rocks Whipped Body Scrub is totally different. It is blue tansy, lavender, dream catcher oil, and jojoba oil. It smells very flowery, like a field of flowers, which I don't like at all. So other than the fact that Truly puts their things in metal, not metal, glass containers, and I don't like to have glass containers in the shower. So this is another reason that I'm actually going to return this. I can't stand the smell of it and I could not walk around with this scent on me. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I read the description, but I was a little bit tipsy. I'm going to be honest. I drank a bottle of wine and then um, went shopping on Ulta.com. So that is how all this came to be. Um, Next up, we have the Browsings um, Brow Magic Tips and Tricks. Wait, Pro Palette, whatever. I'm just going to say that. This is more than I need. I use the Browsings Little Square Palette that has literally a powder and a wax in it. I use the powder. I don't even use the wax. So why, when I was tipsy, that's why I think I needed all these products for my brows. Um, I believe it's just because I was tipsy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably actually return this to just because of the fact that most of it is going to go to waste. Um, I don't think that that is a good thing. Um, definitely not something I want to do. I haven't touched these products. I just opened it so they can still sell this. This isn't a product that they have to throw away and I am pretty confused at why I bought it because I was talking smack on it before I bought it and then getting it and it has four brow powders, three waxes, plus two dual ended brushes when I really like the one I have already. And it will run out one day and they don't sell it anymore. But I think that I might be able to find a better brow kit through somebody else. Let's just say that. Um, another thing I ordered is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Um, 
this is the uh, setting powder in butter. Because they stopped selling my Too Faced setting powder, the um, the Peach Perfect uh, setting powder in translucent, I um, decided to um, get the Fenty in butter, which I actually do like. Um, if I have to use a setting powder that is not the Peach Perfect, I will use the Fenty in butter, but I ran out of it. So the next thing, I had issues just the whole way along this little trip down internet lane. I ordered this Jimi Hendrix Purple Haze palette. I did take it out of the box because it's really difficult to do. So I did it off camera, but the palette, this is from Rock and Roll Beauty. It looks like this. It is absolutely beautiful and would make some beautiful, wonderful looks. But I have a problem with Rock and Roll Beauty because they're not being honest about who they are. And um, if you go to, I don't know where it is online, I'll figure it out and let you guys know if you're interested. Let me know if you have a question about it and I'll find out where the information is. I also ordered the Jimi Hendrix makeup bag. Um, I kind of like, I like gangster rap and I like old school rock and roll. So the Jimi Hendrix stuff is like right up my alley. Well, um, I, uh, I found out by watching What's Up in Makeup that this is made by Revolution Beauty. Makeup Revolution, I Heart Revolution, X Revolution, whichever revolution company, whatever. This is the same company, which sometimes their eyeshadow palettes are iffy. Big time. And I really like the bag, but I don't like the fact that they made a company and they're hiding the fact that they're Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty or whatever you want to call them. I don't like the fact that they're like keeping that to themselves and just saying, you know, oh, well, we're going to put out products of, you know, um rock and roll people who have passed on and we're going to relive their, um, you know, their history and stuff like that, which is really interesting and everything, but like, don't lie about your company. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, like, I don't know, I'm going to stop on the tangent. I'm just going to say, like, it bothers me a little bit that a company that massive would come out with a new brand and not recognize themselves. Okay, with my two orders, I received not one, but two boxes, bags of samples that I can't even shut. They're so full. They came in a bag with the bags in them and then the samples. So I'm gonna run through the samples real quick, as quick as humanly possible. Let's put it that way. Okay, this is Cerevital, reverse the signs of aging, dietary supplement. You get 28 capsules and how often are you supposed to take it? Daily value, blah, blah, blah. I think take four capsules with water on an empty stomach in the morning or two hours before breakfast. Okay, so four capsules, I can't add, <laughs> would be a week's worth. So I guess that's not too bad, but how are you going to tell if a supplement works in a week? Um, 
I've tried a lot of stuff from this company lately and this line. This is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. This is a CC cream? I wonder if this is like a... No, this is... Ah! Okay, well, the floor likes it. <laughs> or no, my pants like it. Um, We're going to see how this feels because... It's all over my pants. Um, nice one, Tony. All right. Um, let's see. It feels really good. I thought it was like a CC. Like, it smells good, too. Oh, okay. So, I am going to put that. I can't believe it didn't have a safety seal, either. But I'm going to put that in my... I'm going to put a lot of these in my Sample Sunday series. This is the Murad Resurgence Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. It feels like there's absolutely nothing in this box, but I can hear it. So there's probably a tiny little thing in there. Let me grab out a couple of these. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. Um, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Some of these I have tried. Some of these I'm looking forward to trying. A lot of these are going to go into your box. The um, Lancome Idol Aura perfume, which I'm looking forward to trying that. This is the Vici Laboratories Life Lift Active Supreme. And this is heavy. I'm looking forward to trying this. I want to try more from that company. But it's a little expensive for being a, um, like a drugstore product. A lot of their products are like 30 bucks, but they sell them at CVS and things like that. This is Take a Breath Oil-Free Oxygenating Gel Cream from Philosophy. Okay. We have La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. UV sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30. This is L'Oreal Revitalef Derm Intensives 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. We have the Anastasia. Three different edges for defining, filling, and detailing your brows. This is the brow definer, so that's pretty cool. I have that to try. This is the I Do Care Yoga Kick yoga kitten balancing heart heart leaf clay mask sorry i couldn't read that i thought it said heartbeat this is the smashbox photo finish primerizer hydrating primer i've tried that but you guys will definitely look forward to that one. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I've always wanted to try this and I never have. So I'm looking forward to that. This is by OC. O-S-E-A. Andaria Algae Body Oil. I don't really use body oils. So I'll throw that into your sample thing. It's really heavy. We have the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergroup. Um... I have a Bra Bravo Syria USA antibacterial body wipe. Okay. It is what it is. Um, Belief Aqua Bomb, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. I got a little shape tape that's too dark for me, but that's okay. I'll put it into Sample Sunday. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Midnight Serum. Sarah B. AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. We have Go Smile Professionally White Teeth Whitening Gel. That's interesting to get in a beauty thing. And then we have some confidence in a cream. So that is all for the first bag. This was the reason that I ordered, I made two orders because I wanted to get two different bags of samples. This is Eilish by Billie Eilish. I am actually, I tried this already. I love it. And I am looking forward to buying it um, next time I get a chance. 
I got a Juice Beauty Prebiotics 20% Vitamin C. <clears throat> um, by BY. Better Not Younger Wake Up Call Volumizing Shampoo. Um, Shine Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. I have so many of these from my fiance. You can use them on your scalp or your body. They smell amazing. I'm going to actually put that in Sample Sunday because I have so many of them. This is by Wildcat. This is a yucca and lactic acid treatment. I got a Origins Ginseng, which I already have a couple of them in there. I got another Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I got a fresh floral recovery calming mask. Very cool. What is this? This is weird looking. This is by Rosin or Rosen. This is a super smoothing cleanser. It's odd looking, but okay. Um, right here we have Smashbox. Uh, photo finish correct anti-redness primer. I'll try this out. I do have problems with redness sometimes. Um, we have a L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. I'll try that out. Um, this is by DHC. This is a deep cleansing oil. I'll probably put that in your um, thing too. This is a baby lotion by Pipette never heard of it before but i don't have kids and don't plan on it or anything like that this is by rituals this is the ritual of sakura Sens sensational foaming shower gel rice milk and cherry blossom that sounds amazing um we have kate somerville exfoliate cleanser that sounds nice never tried that we have another confidence in the cream. That one's in a little packet. Um, this is CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara in very black. Um, this is by Lancome. This is what? A black, I'm guessing, ultra precise waterproof uh, liner. We got a Josie Marin 100% pure argan, argan oil. I do have small things of this too, but I'll put this in yours because I have tried it. I've tried the light also. Victor and Raw Flower Balm. That'll go into yours also because I know what that smells like. Um, this is Olaplex number three hair perfecter. Definitely interested in that one. Um now I have a couple small things and then that is the last of that bag I have this works 24 hour skin solutions can't sleep deep sleep pillow spray that's not even going to go in the in my thing I'm just going to use that okay this is by Hero this is the Mighty Patch the original you get six of them and then weird enough Mario Badescu drying patches, six of them. So I will probably take these and put these in my room also. Um, I'm not even gonna put these in Sample Sunday because I will just use these. I love pimple patches. If you have never tried one and you get like hormonal breakouts, regular breakouts, any kind of breakouts, try some pimple patches. Seriously, I don't care who you buy them from. Like, I've gotten ones for $4 from CVS all the way up to the Truly brand where they're like $20 for like two little sheets of them. Um, they are amazing. Every one that I have tried, literally every one has done amazing. I mean, you put it on at night over top of a blemish or some of them are see-through and you can put makeup right over top of them. Um... And literally within six to eight hours, you take it off and it's almost gone. There's barely a mark there. 
at all. They are amazing. I mean, I have two packs of them within reaching distance. That's pretty crazy, actually. But anyway, um, that's it for Ulta. Most of this video was samples. So I'm going to get going. Tell me what you guys think about the Jimi Hendrix thing being owned by a revolution. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. If you're still here in this video, why don't you put some like music notes or something like that? Because that's kind of weird. I really do pay attention to who watches all of my videos and there's no other way to tell. You don't have to say any words to me or anything like that. I'd just like for you to put some musical notes in just so I know who's here and who's not. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Um, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I have lots of beauty stuff coming up and I'm working on some other content and I've been working on, um, editing a little bit if you couldn't tell. So I am trying to work on things, but I love you guys a ton. I will talk to you very soon and that's that. So I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. Bye.